In 2024, I want us to think of how can we shock the world? And if not the world, at least our inner circle. Mm. Do something where your inner circle says, yo, that was brilliant. Yeah. Or be so good at something that the world or your part of the world, your inner circle identifies you with that thing. Yes. Like, yes. It doesn't have to be a new idea. It doesn't have to be something that's never been done before, but be determined to be so great that your friends, your family, your community that you're creating, whenever they think of that thing, your name is top of mind. Think of 2024, what you are going to launch that's special. Any advice for 2024? Business is still booming for me and for you because we simply didn't quit. And so many people got so scared. So many people bought into everybody saying, oh, the course business is taking the hit. Coaching is taking the hit. Podcasters are going out of business. Like you didn't even get a chance to experience that yet. And you didn't you didn't start because of what you heard or you got scared. So you stopped investing in yourself. Some of you are panicking right now because it's not easy going into the new year. And when January 1st hit for you and you saw all those numbers start over at zero, mm -hmm. Now you're feeling defeated because it took you all year to make $30,000. The key is going to be to commit. I'm in a season where I'm trying to prove to myself that I am who I say I am. You can set yourself up in a way where you cannot even avoid success if you want it to. 100%. Decide, commit, do. Welcome to another edition of the Social Proof Podcast. My name is David Shans. To the left of me is my partner, Nim. I'm Donnie Wiggins, and I'm sitting here with Sarai Shans. Say hi, Sarai. Hi. Ooh. Say social proof. <laughs> <laughs> yes, she is going to be something special in this world. She is already something yes. special in this world. Sarai has literally, ta she takes the heart of everybody who gets to meet her because she's such a special baby. Mm -hmm. Say, I'm special. <laughs> oh, I love it. Happy New Year, proofers. Happy New Year, man. Woo! 2023 is over. Yes. 2023 is over. How was it? Um, actually, it was one of the best years of my life. Mm. Yeah. It was for sure one of the best years of my life. It was no secret that I struggled through 2022, like yep. just mentally. Um, feeling complete and fulfilled and all these things. So in 2023, I was really intentional about prioritizing me at the top of the priority mm -hmm. list, doing business, maybe not in the best way in terms of I could have gone harder in a lot of things. Right. I definitely wasn't my go hard self. I have gone hard for so long. I just in 2022 reached maximum burnout. Mm -hmm. And so in 2023, I said yes to what I wanted to say yes to. Good. I said no to everything else. Super important. But this year right here, Beyonce work ethic all day. Really? What? Beyonce work ethic. Beyonce level work Jeez. ethic. Yes, yes, yes. I'm coming for everything. Yeah that I am supposed to come up, come for, I am showing up in a major way. But before we get there, mm -hmm. how was your 2023? My 2023 was lackadaisical. Mm. It's an interesting I word. Did, I mean, I did do some cool stuff, but I just don't feel like all of the things I was supposed to really grab by the horns, I didn't grab them. I, I didn't, man. I was, I was coasting. Because it was overall, it was a good year. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Like accomplished a bunch. First podcast summit started dropping the, the the hot seat, which is doing really really well. I'm really in mogul mode right now. Okay, okay. Where you know I'm I'm able to create situations that aren't based on my effort, but based on my intellect and my ideas, and I'm I'm doing a lot. I'm mm -hmm. doing a lot. So I can honestly say that I've never been so excited about a year. Mm -hmm. I, I had a call today that was just out of nowhere, and it's just it's aligned with my goals. Uh, meetings after meetings about, uh, about, big, about big stuff, man. And I, I never really, um, uh, they said there's no sound. Y'all got sound? Um <clears throat> I've never, they're back, okay. I've, 
I never focused on me mm -hmm. when it comes to business mm -hmm. and what I'm going to get. My mind is always, okay, how can I uh, create something? And I guess this is focusing on me. How can I create something with a bunch of people that benefits me? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's what I'm thinking. So I, uh, I, uh, I just, that's all it's done, and, I, and it's, it has worked out well, not only for the people, but myself. You know what I mean? So it's been, I, I like my strategy of how I work. But this year, I, I need to focus on building my own brand, because mm -hmm. I don't think I've done a great job of that, because I've only built my brand off of highlighting other people like thus the podcast mm -hmm. you know what i mean like i just interview people and say hey this person's amazing or um you know like uh, uh podcast summit or anything anything very rarely do i do something by myself mm -hmm. and not that i even desire to do something by myself but i'm thinking how can i get some stuff done that will build my brand that will allow me to do business that doesn't have anything to do with my brand, if that makes sense. Mm, that makes perfect sense. Yeah. Do you have the idea of streaming already? I got some. Oh, my goodness. Not even ideas. I have, like, some motion. I got, got some motion. things going on. So if you had to describe your theme mm -hmm. for 2024. Mogul mode. Mogul mode. Let's go, baby. Mogul it's mode. Beyonce work ethic year for yeah. me. Yep. It's mogul mode for you. Yep. And and I have to say Beyonce work ethic because after seeing her documentary Renaissance, um came out a couple of years ago, right? No, no, or is this it was a new? couple of months. This was this was a couple of months ago. What was the, oh, Homecoming is the other one. Homecoming is the other one. Renaissance was a recap of her uh concert that she did in 2023, her concert tour. And oh, was, the one she made all them billions for. Yes. Or millions. Yeah. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. And um, it, so many things. First of all, whenever she pops out, you cannot leave, whether you're a fan of her or not. When we're talking simple work ethic, when we're talking about just a human pursuing their goals yeah. and knocking them out, you cannot leave that environment uninspired. Yeah. It's just impossible to do. Mm. I think so. And I did not go to the concert this year because I felt like, you know, I wasn't sure if I was a fan of the most recent Renaissance album. Mm. Um, so I did not go to the concert, even though I'm really big, a big fan of Beyonce. I've did been the to, album do well? For sure. For sure. The album went Is the insane. album crazy, y'all? The album. You like it? It's not her best. It's not her best? It's not her. Nothing is going to beat, like, B-Day. Yeah, it's over with. It, it's over with, right? Golly. But anywho, Beyonce showed the behind the scenes of this concert tour being put together. And it took, I think, four years mm -hmm. to put together this tour that happened over a couple of months, like four years to build out the stages, to get the right sound. And she, um, in this episode, she says she's trying to find this 30 foot light. And the production team that she's hired is like, it's impossible. There is no 30 foot light. You know, there's, there's no 30 foot. And she's like, you're meaning to tell me with all of these high level uh, productions that go on, there's no 30 foot light. Mm. So she goes and finds it. And she's like, well, that's interesting because I found it. Bro. Right. She's like, I found it. Sometimes, you know, she's like, it's so frustrating to pay people to do things for you when you just got to end up going and doing it yourself. Yeah. But I'm going to get it done. And she's she was talking about how it is to be a black woman operating even at her level, you would think Beyonce could open any door that she wanted to effortlessly as one of the biggest female artists of all time, right? Mm. But she even still struggles. And she talks about how it is how it, how it is being a black woman in this industry, having to meet with a bunch of white men who make the decisions. And she's like, you know, um, I got to command what I want. And they try to tell me no all the time. And she said, and sometimes they see me coming or they see me calling and they're like, oh, my God, here she go. You know, what does she want? Yeah. And she looked in the camera and she's like, I got to make it clear. This B won't stop. Mm. She's like, they look at me like she is relentless. She just won't stop. And she's like, and I'm not. I'm not going to stop yeah. until I get the answers. There's always a solution. There's always an answer. And that's really what I'm on. I am so excited about hmm. this year. First of all, our studio is going to be opening later this yes. year. The podcast yes. suites yes. will be yes. opening yes. Yes. later yes. this year. 
Um, David and I just dropped an amazing ebook. Yes. Um, Click super the link in the bio. excited. Click the link in our bio. Click the link in the description of this video mm -hmm. to get our ebook. Um, we've got some collaborations on a mastermind yes. happening with authority and influence. Click the link in yes. the bio. You can now work with us. Um, oh. This has never been made to the public before. We've only ever offered this to people um, who have attended like podcast summit. Um, we haven't even offered it within our communities. It nah. was an exclusive podcast summit. Yo, 100% satisfaction rate. 100% Satisf satisfaction rate Crazy. Um, where we, we were working with entrepreneurs who are building brands that's attached to their personal stories, mm -hmm. right? Something in their story has led them to inspire them to build this brand, but they were missing the piece of really honing in and owning their lane, owning mm -hmm. their niche. So we focused uh, the, the mastermind is authority and influence yep. where we help you get really, really clear in uh, your concept really clear on who you're serving and up. helping you because of that clarity to build your own authority and influence so you can show up the way we show up or better. Right, right, right. right? The way you know us for podcasting, you know us for business coaching, uh, you know us for being super relatable and tangible. So we're excited because we're taking that to another level. Um, you have the ability to join us there. The link is, you know, in the bio. We've got new apparel mm -hmm. that's coming out, social proof, Ooh, um, exclusive. You got, but go. but they gotta have the ebook. Gotta to have get the ebook to get that. The yeah, apparel. Absolutely. So if you want to yep. see that new apparel that we're talking about, you gotta click the link in the description to yes. grab that ebook. But anyway, Absolutely. so we got so many things happening. Um, and like you, I'm also going in on personal brand. Yeah. Just showing more of who Donnie Wiggins is inside and outside of being a businesswoman. Mm -hmm. um, so, you know, I've got the YouTube channel that we started at the end of last year. Yeah. It's not going so well. It's just not. No? No, because I don't necessarily love the content. Like, the audience likes it, but I don't like it. Let's it's, sit down and have a session. We never talked about let's it. Let's talk about I wanna, it. I want to I wanna help out. Because right now, it is um, it is just me showing my behind the scenes. I oh, don't I like behind, like, I feel like it's not providing any value. Yeah. So for me, while everybody else likes it, I'm like, I don't like doing this. Yeah. Nah, just, yeah, let's, let's, let's be intentional about sitting down to figure it out. Um, yes. Because, like, people love you, man. People love every aspect of you. Aww. It's the craziest thing. Thank you. Not People in the crazy. No, no, no. Not that it's crazy. <laughs> it's so infectious, though. You know what I mean? Like I don't. I don't know what it is. Everybody that I bring around Donnie, if it's a guy, married or not. Oh my god. Yo, they fall in. Yo, it's. It's crazy. You have something so special that I can't really put my finger on it. But, like, yo, isn't it right? Y'all be around her, right? Donnie got some pixie dust going on <laughs> that just exudes through her pores and just, like, entrances anyone. And not just men, but women. Everyone loves Donnie. And uh, I just can't wait for the whole world to uh, know what we all know about you. For clarity, everyone who's had an experience with me loves me. People from afar, um, they're a little scared of me. They're scared of who they think I am. Um, but if you've had an opportunity to have an experience with me and you see I'm just like a softy in real life yeah. and super like girl's girl, I'm a girl's girl, but I'm only a girl's girl to nice girls. Yeah. Um, I'm a guy's girl, like, you know, <laughs> it just is what it is. So, and it, it kind of is because I grew up in a neighborhood where I was the only girl. So mm. I grew up a tomboy. So I connect really well with men. Like I'm talking about, imagine me diving in dumpsters in apartment communities, like climbing trees, diving in dumpsters, oh, wow. rolling through mud, cooking eggs, scrambling eggs on rocks outside and actually eating it. Like that was me growing up. But in my family, the majority of people that I connect with are women because there are more women in my family than men. Mm -hmm. So I'm a girl's girl and I'm a guy's girl. Um, and so, yes, I yeah. want to show the world more of me, you know, in this year, for sure. I want to show the world more of me. Um, I had something I wanted to share. Okay. Uh, what was it? Go, go ask mommy, baby. 
Um, I had something I wanted to share. There's a lot of things you can do with five hundred dollars. I mean, you can have a night out with your significant other. You could buy some really expensive shoes. Well, really nice shoes are about double five hundred dollars. Um, you could buy a course or you can learn something for five hundred dollars. But I have something better for you to do with the five hundred dollars. I want to meet with you every single morning for the rest of your life. Well, maybe not the rest of your life, but every morning, Monday through Friday, for the rest of the year. I have information and game that have allowed me to build a successful business, a successful community, and a successful life all the way around. But I want to share that with you. But the only way we can accomplish this is not me selling you a course, not me giving you a one-on-one -on -one consultation, because even with that, you'll get the information, but you'll need more. I want to meet with you every single morning. Now, would I meet with someone every morning for 500 bucks for a year? And the answer is yes. Actually, we've been doing this thing since 2017. We have what's called the morning meetup. Every single month, we have a theme, whether it's social media, whether it's motivation, whether it's strategy, whatever it is, we have a theme for the month. And every morning in that month, we have a conversation around that topic. And I am giving a wealth of knowledge, not only myself, but a lot of friends, a lot of people that you see on this podcast, they join every single week. So you need a community of people that you can grow with and you need a coach. I'm your coach. The Morning Meetup is your community. Go to themorningmeetup.com. It's $499 and I will meet you every single morning for an entire year. Give it a shot. What was it? What was we just talking about? Man. Um, yeah, I don't know. Oh, Renaissance. Did y'all see it? Did y'all see it? Is it's it good. inspirational? So is it inspirational to everybody? Is it like a good oh so for not or? only is it inspirational to everyone to go further, I had my actionable CEOs go see it. Mm -hmm. I'm like, you gotta go see this movie. Yeah. Um, and many of them went to go see it and the response was just overwhelming. Okay, I bet. Yeah, for sure. Say less. So yeah. we did we did a meetup where we watched uh, Tyler Perry's Maxine's baby. Did you yeah. see it? I have not seen it because we're going to watch it this month inside of Action. We'll see. Uh, Ooh, so good. Me. So we uh, and maybe we can make it a collaborative effort on this Let's one. Let's do it. So we were in person on a big screen. We watched Maxine's Baby. Uh, J Star bought his own bag of popcorn, which I thought was strange. <laughs> but like we had pizza and we just was in here, right? So it was very inspirational. We had uh, conversations around it. So I want to do that maybe next week. Okay. Yeah, let's do it. Um, so yeah. here's the thing, and you may want to do this too, but we watch, we have movie night together. Mm. And what we do is, um, mm, what, we, what, we, what we've done, we've had our first one, but we've added it as a feature inside of Actionable CEO. Mm. We watched The Secret and we watched it virtually and it was a hit. And so everybody's watching it individually. Hey, mm -hmm. crash that one. Uh, actually, we'll see you and just turn it back on because the, the audio is going in and out. We're going to be right back, yeah. ACEOs. Um, yeah, and it was a hit, so they love it. So now, once a month, I will do movie night um, mm. and not just locally because everybody's all over. Yep. The craziest thing okay. is the smallest network I have is in Atlanta where I live. Really? Yes. Oh, wow. So I be wanting to like do things in the city, but it's like 10 of y'all. And I'll still show up for you. We've done a meetup yeah. in the city before. However, um, on, you know, you, you can get a couple hundred people on a yeah. Zoom and stream. Yeah. We and we can, can stream it back. We can stream what it if, before. What if we do movie nights together? Let's do it. What Let's if that's it. our collaborative effort? Let's do it. I don't know how we'll make it. Is it like, I don't know how we'll make that happen. We'll do a Zoom call. Oh, we'll just do the Zoom. Yeah. Yeah, we'll for do sure. A Zoom, we'll do a Zoom. Yeah, okay. All right, and we'll, we'll just schedule it. How, how do y'all feel about that? Uh, uh, one more meetups on here. Hey, how are you? Hey, what's up, Nella? Um, how do y'all feel about that? Y'all want to do movie night, morning meetup, and then I'll ask like Ashley, we'll see when they drop in if they if they will share their Donnie with us. Um, y'all with it? I like that. Okay, all right, cool. Y'all do it, in and the we evenings? can make it easy. Yeah, we do it in the evenings, but we can make it easy on ourselves if you want. Oh. You can do one. I can do one. So we end up doing okay. six movie nights in the year. So we can do. I like to do. I want to do a movie night every single month, mm -hmm. right? And so we can alternate months. Both groups come and I'll do one. Both groups come, you do one every other month. What do you say when we do one? What do you mean? 
So I do the movie night virtually. Yes. And I'm there. But what what we've done is like, for example, we watched The Secret and there are a couple of pivotal moments that we needed to do a deep dive conversation in. So yeah. I'll pause it and we'll talk about it. Gotcha. Um, I let people ask questions or talk about how something um, stood out for them, because what I'm understanding, um, even in the the book reading aspect, when I say watch these movies and documentaries, mm -hmm. people watch it and they feel something, but they don't know how it applies to them yeah. or they don't know how to move on it. Yeah. So I like to stop it in real time. Like, wait, 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 wait. I don't want you to miss yeah. that piece. Yep. So, um, I don't mind doing all 12, but if you want, yeah, now nah, we can do it together. So yeah. we, we got, we, we haven't done it in a while, but like we did a popcorn and principles. Yeah. Well, you were there, weren't you? Mm -hmm. In the old building? Yes. Yes. Yeah. Yes. We'll yes, stop yes. and kind of mm -hmm. talk about it. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. Yeah. We'll, we'll do that, man. First off, you need to be a part of actionable CEO and morning meetup. This is going to be the best year of your life. Actionable CEO. If you don't mind sharing your Donnie with us, uh, we would love to do movie nights together as a community. Okay. Yes, yes, yes. And you guys um, already know you're going to have to share David, whether you want to. Or <laughs> not. So, that. so 2024, I think everybody, and even in this room, we need to figure out a theme for the year. Every uh, We have a theme for the month where we kind of identify the theme of the month and kind of like the days of the week can uh, follow that. I think everybody needs to have some sort of theme for the year. So yeah. Donnie's saying uh, Beyonce work ethic year, mm -hmm. which should be a constant reminder. You know what I mean? Like every day. Yeah. And there are points where you don't want to do something, but yeah. if you have a theme for the year, you're like... Oh, well, what would Beyonce do? Yeah. You need well, to get some, some wristbands. I uh, strategic, right. W Can I sell that? <laughs> <laughs> what would Beyonce hey, do? Go to GoDaddy and check to see if that domain works <laughs> uh, or is available. Um, what would Beyonce do? WWBD.com. Yeah. Mm -hmm. What about, what would I do? I'm just saying. WWDD.com. What would Donnie do? But here's why well, I strategically. I think you turned it into something else. I was saying for you, you would need oh, a reminder. Sure. So look, here's why I strategically picked Beyonce work ethic. And I couldn't just say, because last year, um, my I didn't have a theme of the year necessarily. I had a word of the year, which was intentionality. Mm. Everything you do, do it intentionally. So what I said yes to, it was intentional. What I said no to, it was intentional. Yeah. Um, this year I created the theme and I had to attach Beyonce work ethic because I want to remember in those moments where I'm, I'm ready to procrastinate mm -hmm. or ready to say no to something that I really could and should yeah. say yes to, I want to re I want to say Beyonce work ethic yeah. so that I remember how I felt when I saw that movie. Mm -hmm. I saw it four times. Hey. Be and every single time I noticed something different. I went four times. Um, I went the first time with Maya Elias. I went the second time with Milan. I went the third and fourth times by myself. When you went, what do you mean you went? It was in the movie theater. Oh, you went to the theater. Oh, you had okay. to it's not on TV. So uh, what is what is a movie theater? What do you mean? <laughs> I just never been. I ain't been. I ain't been in a while. Like, yo, when a movie come out, we always waiting for it to come on Netflix. I for forgot sure. movie theaters exist. For sure. We That's went crazy. to the movies and it was so crazy because you saw all the content with everybody at the concert dressed in their silver, mm -hmm. looking like her on stage. Yeah. They came to the movies like that, too. Oh, wow. And you would see parts of I felt like I saw the concert because the documentary not only showed behind the scenes, but it showed clips of mm. how scenes became possible. And we are all in there emotionally like, uh, 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 like we're performing in the theater. Everybody's <laughs> up dancing. But anyway, I chose Beyonce work at the year because that moment that I'm ready to slip and there will be many moments yeah. that I'm ready to slip. People always say what keeps you motivated. If I'm being honest, I'm not ever really motivated. I just have a certain level of discipline and it's attached to a life that I do not want to go back to. Mm. So I just get stuff done. Yeah. Right. Um, but that Beyonce, that movie, that documentary motivated me. Yeah. So when I want to feel that motivation is that and I pray um, that it's available to like buy on Amazon or something or put on Netflix. So it's so, not on, it's not on, it's not streaming right now. No, it's no? just in select theaters. Oh, so can you check? Oh, so we Confirm. can't. So you can't stream that. Nella's okay. checking it. She said she thought it was on Disney Plus. But as far as I, I know, it's in theaters. On. 
No. No, I sent that's why I told you I sent them to the theater to go see it. I see. Yeah. I see. Okay. Um oh my gosh. Oh my goodness. What did you Ernestine do? Ernestine just texted me. She just texted me and said that she posted a video from last night. <laughs> Wait, <laughs> y'all. Oh my gosh. We did a thing. Uh, I don't last even want to accept it, really. She sent it to me, too. Yeah, let me see how it goes. Let me see how it goes on her page. Yeah, I don't like. The, oh gosh. Not okay, let me tell y'all what happened. The bill. <laughs> let me. Let me. <laughs> oh, they are gonna flame me. So we did. So we went out for Donnie's birthday yesterday. I'm gonna accept it. <laughs> ah, so we went out for Donnie's birthday yesterday, and okay, this this is a real conversation that we can have right now. We went out for it wasn't. No, 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 yesterday. no, no, no. Let me get you back. It was last. Last it was week. Couple, it was a couple days ago. So, um, yeah. So backstory. Backstory. We're trying to figure out what Ernestine calls me and says, Hey, David, what do you have planned for Donnie's birthday? And I My said, My 45th right now. birthday, by the way. I turned 45 a couple of days ago. Clap it up for that. Yeah. So <laughs> Ernestine calls me and says, Hey, David, what you got planned for Donnie's birthday? I said, Nothing right now. What's up? What you want to do? Like, you want to do something? She's like, Well, we could do a dinner. And I'm like, Yeah, let's do a dinner. You know what I mean? Cool. No problem. So we picked a day, and it's like, okay, who's going to be there? It's like me, Ernestine, and uh, Jay probably, Donnie, you know, I'm going to bring my family, you know, and it's just, it's just us. So she called, she, Ernestine picks a restaurant and says, well, this restaurant can serve, I heard this was a good restaurant, it can fit probably 12 people, how many people do you want to come? And I was like, I mean, I don't know. So she calls back and says, she texts back and says, well, we got to put a credit card on file. And I'm like, all right. But I'm wondering why you're asking me, why don't you just put your card on file? She like, <laughs> she like, well, uh, she's like, I'm putting this together for you because you said you want to do something for Donnie. I said, no, this is a mutual agreement. And she was like, Ernestine says, I'm just an actress. I don't have that. I'm not doing all that. And I was like, all right, well, I like, I don't want to do that. Okay. And I'm like, yo, how many people are coming? She said, I don't know. I said, well, let's make it intimate. <laughs> if one person going to pay for this. So what happens is the, the day of Donnie's friend, Nikki. Wait, for, no, 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 no. So Ernestine had called me and said, hey, what you doing on Thursday? Because I usually reserve the day of my birthday for family. Mm -hmm. And then usually my friends will do something the next day. And so and I thought you were out of town. You mm -hmm. kept telling me I'm going to be out of town on your birthday. So, you know, blah, blah, blah. Yeah. So when EJ hit me, she's like, what are you doing on Thursday? I'm like, I don't have any plans. Mm -hmm. And she's like, don't make any plans. So I'm thinking it's me and her. Oh. Then I saw that you came back in town. Yeah. Thursday morning, I saw that Wednesday, you were back yeah, in okay, town. Gotcha. And I was like, ain't no way, day. what's going on here? So I hit my friends, like my day one besties, and said, I don't know if anything's happening, but here's Ernestine asked me to clear my schedule. They're probably putting something together. Hit Ernestine just to see What's what? I don't know, but I don't want anybody in their feelings when the pictures hit the internet. Yeah, okay. Okay, yo, that's that's really insightful backstory, too. Because from my perspective, Ernestine said, how many people do you want to invite? And when she says you got to put a card on file, I'm like, nobody. It's going to be us. <laughs> so the day of, Ernestine gets a text from Nikki saying, hey, if y'all got something, if y'all doing dinner or something, invite me and Bree. Yeah. And then... And then Maya hit her up like, yo, if y'all doing something, let me know. So Ernestine hits me back and says, all right, well, Nikki, Bree, and Maya are also wanting to come. So what do we do? And I'm saying, just don't reply. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to say no, but just don't reply. And the next day, just be like, oh, I missed your text. I didn't see you. <laughs> Y'all would have had me ended in these streets. You hear me? So it is about to be. It's about to be a thing. And I'm. And I'm. If if it's Donnie's birthday, right? And I'm putting on a dinner. Obviously, I want to take care of the birthday. That's what I'm saying. We don't want to invite too many people. Anyway, 
Ernestine is like, no, she's like, yo, what happened to you be playing credit card roulette with your friends? You put your card in the middle of the table and whoever the loser pays everything. I'm like, this ain't 2021. <laughs> 2021, 2022, they were different years, okay? The economy was flooded with money. There was money raining from the heavens, okay? If you are an influencer or a coach or a teacher, oh, people are going to buy your course. They rocking with you because there's a bunch of people, got a whole bunch of money going on. I'm like, Ernestine, that's over with. That's done. We don't do that no more. Oh, I don't. I'm cool. Anyway, so we're, we're, Ernestine says, yo, this should be a skit. She's like, yo, this is so funny. And she's like, all right, cool. I was like, yeah, let's, let's do it. So then we call Donnie and we tell Donnie the no, situation. No, no, David sends me a text and he said, yo, I got something real funny but urgent to talk to you about. <laughs> Very serious. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm like, uh, I'm in the mall or something doing something and it takes me like a while. And he's like, yo, I need you to call me. <laughs> Hurry up. So, yeah, hurry up. So I call him, and Ernestine's on yep. the phone. He gets Ernestine on the phone, and he's like, so Ernestine was thinking about this skit, and what if there was a birthday dinner taking place for a birthday person, somebody celebrating their birthday, and the people who were putting it together only intended it to be the three of them, but then the birthday girl starts inviting all these other guests and one person was originally paying for it. Do we now add? Do I have? Does that person now have to pay for all these extra people? And I'm like, of course not, because <laughs> I have organized plenty of birthday dinners. I'm not paying for all your friends to eat. Like if we're doing that, we're getting it catered. Mm -hmm. Right. Like we're doing something like that. I am inviting everybody to come and celebrate. I'm paying for you is what I told David. And I'm like, and none of my friends expect to be paid for. Everybody knows that they're coming. None of my friends and family, because my cousins ended up coming too, they don't expect to be paid for. They just want to come and celebrate. But Dave always thinks he has to take care of the bill. I be feeling obligated. Yo, think about, so Dottie, Ernestine, her two friends and her cousin, right? They're all there. I'm the only guy. People, I, I don't know whatever, what people think about my financial situation, but... <laughs> The pressure comes, so I have my family there too. Mm -hmm. So I'm taking care of my family and Donnie, Ernestine. I'm like, all right, well, we're going to have a dinner. No problem. Y'all my friends. But then there's some other people there. I'm saying, yo, I got everybody but y'all two. <laughs> but y'all three. Y'all, yeah. And I, I, and, and I have anxiety about that. So it was funny, but it was serious because I wanted to hit Donnie and say, hey, what do you think? <laughs> like, how do we do this? Because I don't want to feel like I'm not including those people. Then I'm coming up with these plans in my head where I'm like, all right, Ernestine, tell them specifically, all right, y'all can come, but you got to take care of your own. Everybody take care of their own thing. Because I don't want to say it. I'm like, Ernestine, you say it. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, that was, that was a real situation. I'm done paying for everybody. But anyway, um, yeah, so we have the dinner and we actually do this skit. But it's not a funny skit it's nobody like laughing it's gonna feel like this actually happened and i don't even want to look at my so i don't want to look at my instagram right now okay because they're gonna be like oh dave what happened bro you falling off oh i know it's a bad year for these podcasters i just i just know that's coming bro um it's it's only a matter of time oh my gosh so yeah we did this skit but it's gonna it's in this is what i also realized too that a lot of these things that go viral are planned. For sure. I didn't know. I had no idea. For sure. I'm thinking somebody got caught in the moment of doing something crazy. And yo, yeah, that's that's wild. So anyway. So we filmed look? this look? skit. We shot this skit. And um, I'm like, okay, so the waiter is gonna come give Dave the bill, and then Ernestine, no, and then he's going to be like, all right, y'all, so the bill is X amount of dollars. Everybody get their card out, see how much your balance is. And Ernestine's role was to be like, Dave, you're making us pay our own bill. And so then Dre walks back in with the kids, and I say to her, like, you going to let your man sit here with this table full of women and not pay the bill? Like, it's only $700. And Dre's response is like, when y'all get y'all's own husband, 
you going to understand. you going to understand that's not what we doing. So I get mad and call. I'm like, y'all are embarrassing. I call everybody at the table. Like, y'all are so ghetto. And I storm out of the mm-hmm. restaurant. Like, I'm not paying for nothing. I'm the birthday girl. Oh, man. We, so, gotta create. we, yo, we need to create just more skits. Let's do more doing. skits. <laughs> let's but, do more situations that entrepreneurs oh, face skits. Yes. Yes. Oh, man. Just, uh, I kind of hope, but I hope Shade Room doesn't pick it up. <laughs> because there's no like ha ha at the end it's just <laughs> what you think about what's going on here this person is a crummy it, person it ends with He's me cheap. storming out of the restaurant <laughs> oh my gosh anyway all right well so yeah it's up now and it's it's happening it's happening in the comments yeah all right 2024 uh i want i want people to think of uh, what did you do that was innovative or creative anybody got anything I mean, just think about it. You got to come to the mic, but did you do anything in 2023? Did in 2023, you yeah, 2023. Mm-hmm. Did you do anything innovative or creative? Hmm. Out the box. Out of the box, no. Um, I Unique, did a unique, one of a kind. I did a well. I honestly feel like I have a one of a kind mentorship community. No. Um. I do. So I created Actionable CEO in 2023, and some of the features and benefits are for sure one of a kind. Um, Like there wasn't until I started, um, there wasn't a group where you could like a mentorship community where you come behind the scenes of my workday with me. You get to sit in on my team meetings. We were doing the movie nights and we got the books, which is something that everybody does. But I added those other pieces intentionally to be out of the box, make yeah. it a no brainer situation. Um, that's what I, that's what comes to mind most in terms of innovative, something that I'd never seen done before. Good. Well, 2023, you all like, just think about it. Did you do anything you were uh, afraid to do? Did you do anything that you've been wanting to do for a long time? You finally knocked it out. Um, in 2024, I, I want us to think of how can we shock the world, and if not the world, at least our inner circle. Mm. Do something where your inner circle says, yo, that was brilliant. Yeah. Or somebody says, I wish I would have thought of that. First. I, man, I can't believe it. Why, why didn't I think of that? Yeah. Or be so good at something that the world or your part of the world, your inner circle identifies you with that thing yes like yes it doesn't have to be a new idea it doesn't have to be something that's never been done before but be determined to be so great Mm -hmm. that your friends your family your community that you're creating whenever they think of that thing your name is top of mind yeah 100 percent. so think about it like if you're as you're watching this think of 2024 what you are going to launch that special uh, there was an era where courses were created and people made a bunch of money on courses. And now in 2023 and 2024, your big idea is to create a course. I'm not saying it's the wrong idea, mm-hmm. but it's another one, right? Some people that are thinking, y'all, I'm going to start a podcast. But the podcast is going to be you finding successful people that you know to interview. It's cool. It's a good idea, but it's not. It's another one. You know what I mean? Like, yo, it's just another one. So if you are going to do a podcast, do something that is innovative. Do something that is out the box that everybody can't do. Mm -hmm. Everybody can get some microphones and talk like what we're doing now. We've been in the game so while. Even when we started doing this, there wasn't a lot of it being done. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Years ago, Mm -hmm. right? So we have to start to think... How can we get outside of the box? One of my, one of my uh, thought processes right now is we built a media company and I think people come to us for media and they know we do media. But I want to uh, start, I want to start um, helping other people build out their media company for equity, a percentage of that. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? So, mm-hmm. like, we can recreate what we've done with Social Proof, have your own little movement. But my know-how, my ideas, my concepts, I want to be able to do that for other people, but I need a percentage of all the ideas I come up with. I'm trying to be a part of a restaurant. I'm trying to... I 
I'm I'm just I'm I'm really really in mogul mode because yeah. people do a thing but they can't recreate their success and yeah. I'm really interested in doing some real innovative out the box different shows different concepts different like the skit that's exciting to me that's like exciting. who's doing entrepreneurial skits or the things that we're rec recreating what's happening around the conversation uh, like of money or what's going on in the world. And there's no, there, everybody knows that there has been a downturn economically in 2023. We should have been flaming us. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Like, mm -hmm. like, and we're, and I'm talking about us entrepreneurs yeah. or whatever. For so, the record, um, a couple of weeks ago, I told you that I wanted to do entrepreneur skits. Mm -hmm. Remember I said, Oh my God, Dave, I got this big idea. And then I pitched you the idea, and mm -hmm. you were like super lackluster about it. No, I wasn't. You were. You were like, "Oh, that was your big idea. Okay, let's let's do it." Well, all, well, maybe, <laughs> uh, maybe because I had the Yo, idea mad long ago. For the record, <laughs> whatever you didn't say that. Yo, um, what are you talking for about? For the record, I'm in, a, I'm in a conference, and I'm hearing how these billion dollar companies are building their brands and. Um, there was someone who talked about this documentary of fo following people in their niche and exposing the good parts and exposing the bad parts. And she created a podcast, you know, behind this. And then it turned into a book and then it turned into this huge, huge brand. Mm -hmm. And then I hit Dave and I was like, oh, my God, I got the I got our idea. I when know what this? we're going to do next. When mm -hmm. was this? Um, it had to be in October or November. OK. Probably October, October or November. I don't know. Okay. Um, yeah. And so I tell him one day, I think after the podcast, it might have been on the podcast. And he's like, hmm, that's your big idea. Anyway, so we're going to do it. We're going to do it well. And I'm glad you're excited about it because I actually started talking to somebody else about doing it. Mm -hmm. And you weren't going to be a part because you just didn't seem excited. No, because So look. Yeah, I, I walked through, so we did like Zoe's interview like two years ago where we're walking through his business talking about the... That's different. I want to do skits. No, no, no. Like, I'm I want to do skits, behind the saying, scenes. If you tell me an idea and let's say for, but I don't, I don't want to say, you know, like somebody give you an idea or you give somebody an idea and they'd be like, yo, actually I was going to do that. I don't be wanting to do that. You know what I mean? Or I didn't want to send you, yo, he was like, yo, we need to walk through their businesses and talk to the business like live. And I don't want to say, well, I did it two years ago. Yeah, but but, which, but why why are you living in the past? Everybody has I'm, done no, 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 what no, we want to do. No, I'm not, but I don't I don't <laughs> I don't want to be the person that says so so how so what level of excitement? Yo, that's no, amazing. You could have been like, yo, I thought that same thing. I don't like let's that. do it. I don't like saying that. But that's if why it's the, I, but if it's I, the I, truth. My answer was probably, yo, let's do it. No, you said that's your big idea? No, I didn't. Okay, let's do it. I must have it. been trying to be funny. You were being funny. But anyway, yeah. <laughs> so this is another realm that we're going to go into super excited. Who are you I mean, going to do it with? Uh, the person who help, is produces the Country Wayne skits that I'm on. Did y'all know that I'm an actress now? Yeah. I am an actress. I am one of the newest uh, actresses in the Country Wayne skits. And I just got, um, I did an acting, I got a campaign with uh, Melanin Money and George Achenpong's Equity Cologne. Okay. And I am, I guess, the spokesmodel for it. Uh, the campaign you? went crazy. Did they pay you? Something like that. Not money. Yeah, equity? <laughs> did you get equity? No. <laughs> no. So George is my friend. Mm -hmm. I got free product. <laughs> George is my friend. And I honestly... Um, I think it was maybe a day or two before this campaign was being shot mm -hmm. um, at the, because he was having the awards and m marketing bomb and Ray did it. And I think she said, Hey, it will be dope to release it. Can we turn on some air? It's so hot. Um, marketing by and Ray probably went to him and said, um, it would be dope for you to release it at the black equity awards mm -hmm. or what was it? The melanin money awards. And so they called me like a day or two beforehand. I wasn't feeling my best. And I was like, yeah, I'll do it. I'll do it. And I didn't think that it would be as big. I thought we were going to do like a little skit and it was just going to be like a thingy thing. And I get there and there's a whole production. I was like, oh, y'all should have told me. I would have got my nails done. Are they running ads or anything? Um, I haven't seen an ad. Okay. I don't know. No, so you saw ads? Oh, good. You've seen an ad? 
Okay. That's yeah. dope. Okay. Yeah, for sure. That's good. That's so good. anyway, yeah, I am, um, I am in, you know, I've gotten pitched for, I think, three reality shows in 2023. I've turned oh, wow. them all down um, because I just don't feel like they align with who I am. Mm-hmm. Um, or they may have aligned with an old version of who I was. Gotcha. Um, Brie was upset that I didn't go forward with these ideas. But on these particular shows, and I'm not going to name the shows that I was pitched for, uh, sometimes the women can become catty. Mm-hmm. And they're acting like they're yeah. trying to be tough. <laughs> You're not the one? <laughs> Don't play with me. <laughs> <laughs> All I'm saying is... My slap gonna connect. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so I had to say no to that yeah. opportunity. You know what I mean? Because we're classy now. Yeah. Uh, we're late. We're a lady. I'm, I'm, I'm too. I'm too oh old for gosh. that. Uh, in <laughs> fact, and so yeah. Good, good. Yeah, I do want to say. So if you're gonna do like the skits with somebody else, still do that. I no, don't have. Let's do it. No, I'm saying, but you can. You could. Here's the thing. I don't. I don't look at things like that. Like if you did a say, we had a conversation. And you're like, yo, we should do some skits. And I drag my feet and you do it with somebody, I would be like, yo, that's dope. Now that you know how to do it. No, I'm mad. Let's do it. Why would you be mad? mad? Shans, you are saying that now to prepare me for something you're going to do without me. (laughs) Or or you're saying it right now to um, justify something that you already moved on without me. (laughs) No, no, I don't. No, 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 no. If this isn't my number one focus, I don't, and this is where I'm coming from. Okay. I want to do something. And if I share it with somebody, now it's our idea. And if that person drags their feet, I can't do it. Mm -hmm. So I'm not saying that you're going to set a, you might want to do it next week, but you're considering, hey, is David going to be ready to shoot next week? I'm saying, go do it. Go get the information. Go do it. Then come and say, yo, I did this over here. Now we could do it together. I don't I don't I don't really care about that stuff. Yeah. So I don't I didn't have a it's it's just a conversation because okay. they understand um how to do this stuff and monetize it and all that good mm-hmm. stuff. It's something that I really, really want to do myself. Um Yeah, do it. it's gonna get done. Do I it. am. Yes. You think I'm worried I'm about it? I'm you? just saying don't wait. And you're gonna do it too. Well, I don't know. I mean no, I you want are. To. it'd be nice. For sure. Yeah, for sure. I mean nice. you're at least gonna but it's not it's not it's not in front of it's not in the forefront of my mind. It will be. But I don't what I'm saying is I don't want to hinder you because we're having this conversation. So, you know, um you can talk all the smack if you want. Like as soon as it gets started, we're going to do it. Okay, yeah, that, nah, that's cool. Do y'all get what I'm saying? Okay, I'm I'm just saying go for it. You don't have to like re- think about me in this. I'm not really thinking about yes, you. Yes, you are. Well, no, because... Because if the worlds were reverse, you'd hate me. For sure. Not hate me, but you'd be mad. Oh, absolutely. We, All right. But baby, I'm saying, I, do I don't, I don't It's, time, it's time to do lunch, Dave. Yeah, let's yeah, have yeah. a conversation. No, 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 no. Because in the, It's about to be Beyonce work ethic gear for you, okay? You for have no time sure. to wait on nobody. To oh, I'm not life. waiting on you. Now is the, the time. But the reason that I'm considering you mm-hmm. is because when the idea popped in my mind, I reached out to you. Yeah, for sure. Right. Absolutely. So I'm I'm considering you, but you're not stopping any motion. Okay. Good, you get good, what I'm good, saying? Good. That's for but sure. But you'll be there. It'll be fine. Okay. Now I can, now I really want to do it. Actually, <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to be I don't want to be left behind. <laughs> okay. Um. What else? What any advice for 2024? Yeah, man. Or, or any new year period? Who y'all leaving behind? And y'all do me a favor in the comments. Put the initials of the person that you're leaving behind <laughs> in 2024. They are not coming into this year with you. Just throw the initials. Are y'all thinking of some initials? Grab this orange. <laughs> just put, it's going to be a whole bunch of MT, LY. T- Listen, just drop, just drop the initial. Listen, this is a safe space for actionable CEO and morning meetup. Just drop the initials. Of the people. Wait, she put. Just go on and drop the initials. But Nikisha this, put her own initials. <laughs> this, this person. Oh, that might be her sister. That's that crazy. might be her sister. That might be her. Dang, I gotta say. Hey, listen. Seriously, seriously. I'm talking about when they call, you are not as Uh-oh. eager to pick up the phone. 
when they say, hey, come on out with us, you're just not going. Because sometimes you know, you know the end results of hanging out with that particular person. You don't like it because that's your day one. You don't want to disappoint. Every time they did a favor, a favor, you feel obligated. You are leaving that person in 2023. This would be the year. Here's what's crazy. If you have been servicing somebody and, and making sure somebody's good for the last 15 years and you take a year for yourself and they get upset and they want to disown you, you wasted 15 years of your life building something that wasn't solid anyway. Yeah. So drop them initials, man, and be serious about it. Yeah. You got any initials you want? Um, I drop people on the spot. I don't wait for a new year. Mm. So anybody who needed to be dropped Ain't nobody dropped. on the fence right now? Nobody's on the fence okay. right now. You Trust me, you know you've been dropped. <laughs> I drop it to me. That's actually, um, it's, a, it's a character plus of mine, mm. but it's also a character flaw of mine. Mm. Because I'll just drop you. I don't need to give you a warning. I don't need to give you a heads up. I don't need closure. It's done. All relationships, right? Um, in, in any capacity. Like, I feel like closure or the warning came with me communicating with you that I didn't like the way something was done or it came when I communicated that you violated a boundary of mine. Like it can't, there were, there were warnings in the process and that process caused me to make the decision that I made to need to cut you off or put some distance between us. So when I make that decision, like my mind is made up, I don't need closure. I don't need a new year. I don't need a major event. It's just done. Done. That's too many comments. Are you looking at the comments on this? You are concerned. <laughs> <laughs> Let's give it somebody gonna take a clip, man, and do a reaction video. Uh of this one part. Wait, 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 but let's... It did also, pair it with something that I said before or something like yes, that. Yes, <laughs> everybody need a podcast, huh, bruh? Everybody need a podcast? Look like podcasters going broke out here in these streets. Oh, my God. But, 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 I have seen a lot of podcasts not drop new episodes lately. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. There was a boom in podcasting because Joe Rogan gets $100 million, uh, Call Her Daddy podcast get like $60 million and like Spotify is taking all this money and putting it into podcasting and people are finding this new medium that they really, really love. So there's a rush of people that jump into the industry but you don't realize it's, it's, not, immediate, it's not immediate success. 100%, there is some work involved. You have to be able to talk about the thing that you talk about on a regular basis consistently and not everybody has that. So there's a influx of people who come in and because of all of this, uh, people are kind of taking chances on podcasts. The advertisers who put this money in, they realize, yo, I'm not recouping my money back. I gave too much money and excitement for this thing. So um, podcast advertising has dropped, which means there's a lot of people who rushed in, said, I'm not going to be able to do this. And then they stop, right? which is really, really cool because every single industry has a correction. Every single industry. Like real estate, there's a boom where everybody can get a loan, everybody can get a house, and then it crashes, then it kind of levels out and you can actually build. There's a dot-com boom where people were getting these big deals and big uh, payouts for their tech companies and then everybody's starting a tech company, everybody's putting it, and then there's a dot-com, the bubble bursts. So right now, uh, were you looking at the comments? Yes. See, goodness gracious. I'm looking at the comments and somebody said, yeah, he's the man, but not your man. <laughs> <laughs> they claiming somebody else's man like he's supposed to provide for them. <laughs> oh, they're on my side? That's yes, 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 Ooh. yes. Are you reading the comments? All right. Yeah, most of the people. God is good. This is, is uh, good. but I told you they would be on your side. Mm. I told you they'd be like, Get your own man. <laughs> Why you riding mine? That's hey, exciting, y'all, man. Y'all gonna miss that little Kim. Yep. Anyway. But, uh, yeah, so po <laughs> podcasting is better than ever right now because you get all the junk out. You get all the people that are curious out. And uh, we, we can really get back to some quality shows. Listen, podcasting is booming. The coaching industry is booming. Mm -hmm. The course industry is still booming. It's booming 
because we say so. Mm-hmm. It's booming because we make it so. Um, it's booming for us because we just didn't quit. Yep. And that's major. My business is still booming because I just didn't quit. I did not quit when it looked like things could potentially start slowing right. down. Mm-hmm. And things did slow down. Yeah. Things slowed down, um, particularly with my core sales. Things definitely slowed down. So instead of saying, oh, let's eliminate the course, it's like, let's continue to sell this course and put it and let's think about how we can do something better. Mm -hmm. Let's think about now what else we can do to make things more effective. Let me think about now the best way to get this course in people's hands Mm -hmm. um, in a way that's comfortable for the consumer and the environment that we're in right now. Mm -hmm. Like business is still booming for me and for you because we simply didn't quit. And so many people got so scared. So many people bought into um, everybody saying, oh, the course business is taking the hit. Coaching is taking the hit. Podcasters are going out of business. And so you didn't start because you heard like you didn't even get a chance to experience that yet. Yeah. And you didn't you didn't start because yeah. of what you heard or you got scared. So you stopped investing in yourself. Some of you are panicking right now because it's not easy going into the new year. And when January 1st hit for you and you saw all those numbers start over at zero. Mm-hmm. Now you're feeling defeated because it took you all year to make thirty thousand dollars. Now you're feeling like, man, I'm back at zero. It took you all year to make six figures. It took you all year to make seven figures. The key is going to be to commit. I was talking to Leon yesterday and Wall Street Trapper. um, And we have made this pact. We, We both like we talked about like we just don't quit. And that's why it's also Beyonce work ethic. I'm, when they said this B won't quit, I won't. Like, mm-hmm. I just won't, right? Because that's how people talk about you. Like, y'all saw Donnie go through this, but she still keeps going. Y'all saw this happening in coaching. Hmm, she's still coaching. Y'all see what's happening in the court. She's still doing this. I won't quit. When you see that I've quit something, I've pivoted. I didn't quit. Mm. I've pivoted. I didn't quit. And I am not forced to pivot by what you think is happening in an industry. I pivot when I say so. I pivot when it makes sense for me to do it. So Trap and I were talking yesterday. And one of our words, well, we're always so aligned. He's sincerely like my soulmate friend. (laughs) Um, We're each other's soulmates, like in terms of friendship. And because we're always just there. We have these conversations and they hit on a spiritual level, right? Um, and we, we say this to everybody. So we're talking and I'm like, he's like, my word for the year is commitment. I'm like, oh my God, my word for the year is commitment. Because la- last year, my word was intentionality. But this year, I realized I got to recommit to some things. I have to recommit to my team. I have to recommit to my business. I have to recommit to my goals. I got to recommit to the podcast. I got to recommit to Actionable CEO. I got to recommit. And when you break down, like it's really serious what this means. It means that I am so committed to you that I won't give up on you during hard times. Yeah. I'm so committed to you that I'm still going to give you all my effort when it's looking like it's winning season and you can pull back a little bit. I'm so committed in 2024, but it's, 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 in, it's intentionality. It's still intentionality from last year. Plus now we're adding, like you don't drop last year, you add to it now. Mm-hmm. So now it's intentional commitment. And every single thing that I do, I am showing up in a different way. And here's the thing. Somebody out there is thinking, Dave, well, how do you start? What are the steps that you're taking, Donnie, to recommit in this way? What are the steps that you're taking, Dave, to commit in this way? And honestly, I think it's true for you, too. I don't need steps. Yeah. I'm going to just do it. Like, it's an instant. Yesterday, I wasn't as committed. Today, I decide that I want to be committed. An hour after that, I'm committed. Yeah. That's just how it works for me. I don't need a whole lot of preparation. For example, like when I went on a fast um, at the end of last year, I do a fast twice a year where it's just complete juice. You've witnessed this fast. I'm not drinking. I'm not eating anything. Nothing with pulp. No smoothies. Just complete juice. I did five days. Before that, earlier in the year, I did uh, seven days. I asked so many people to do this fast with me 
and they're like, oh, no, I need more time. You know, when do you want to do it, first of all? And I'm like, let's do it right after Thanksgiving. Oh, no, I need more time to plan and prepare for it. Why? <laughs> Why do you need more time to pr yeah. just do it? Like, what is so difficult about just making a decision and acting on it immediately? Yeah. And so I ended up doing that fast with um, maybe five women, me, Maya, Milan, Precious, Erica, Terrell, six women. It was six of us. We all did this fast and I did not need preparation. I didn't have to get my head in the game. I just decided, committed, did it. And I think, I think that's the theme for a lot of people. Decide, commit, do. Decide, yeah. commit, do. If you go through your year, decide, commit, do every single day. Like, seriously, if you're taking notes on this episode, write that down. Decide, commit, do. If you have a journal like me at the top of every single year or a notebook, write it at the top of your notebook. Decide, commit, do. Do And if you look at that every single day and that's the theme that you're operating with, I promise you, you will reach a level of success that you didn't have on day one at the end of the year on purpose. You won't be able to miss it. You won't. You can set yourself up. In a way where you cannot even avoid success if you want it to. A hundred percent. It's going to happen. Absolutely. Decide, commit, do. I think some people have a challenge with that deciding part, though. So you have it. I have it. Mm -hmm. Like, I can say, all right, this is what I'm going to do, and I'm going to get this thing done no matter what. Nobody can take me off path. I'm committed because we've just been through the game so much. We inspire. We coach. And I think some of that stuff is uh, innate. You know what I mean? Or it has to be developed. I don't even know if I can teach someone how to be committed. But some of the guardrails that I put up is I have to, if it's something I really want to do that I know I'm not going to do, I have those things. You decide you're going to do it, then you know you're not going to do them. Or it's going to be really difficult. You know what I mean? So I can make a decision. I'm going to do this 10-day uh, fast or cleanse, raw vegan. All right, let me say it. Golly. Come on, show some support. Um, yes, but I know, I, I know, not that I know I'm not going to do it, but I know it is going to be extremely challenging and because I know myself, there's going to be a way out and I can give up on myself. Now I've, I've gotten a little better because I'm, I'm in a season where I'm trying to prove to myself that I am who I say I am. Mm -hmm. But when I decide, um, I always have to make what I'm going to do public. And maybe not, you know, all over social media or whatever, but I always go into morning meetups saying, hey, guys, this is what I'm going to do. Yeah. Because I need I need some accountability. You know what I mean? I don't know if I'm strong enough to just decide, commit it, and do it every time. Every time. If it's business, yeah. for sure. Mm -hmm. But if it's something else, then I need some accountability. So I make it public. Like, talk to your closest friends. I'll tell Donnie this is what I'm going to do, and then she's – going to tell me that my goals aren't big enough, that I'm going to get frustrated and say, no, I'm going to do what I'm going to do. And that kind of solidifies that this is what I'm going to do. But I have to tell somebody, right? And then there absolutely has to be some sort of consequences if you don't do it. Because if there aren't any consequences, you're just going to quit and start again tomorrow. Mm. Start again next month. Start mm -hmm. again next week. So you got to have some sort of accountability. Whatever you're sick and tired of quitting on, Whatever you, wherever you know you stumble, historically has stumbled, just because the clock strikes 12 and it is a new year, that doesn't make you a new person. It just makes the same person in a new year with different goals, maybe some sort of spurt of inspiration or motivation today. But by the 6th or the 10th or the 15th, it's over with. And not that you make a conscious decision to stop is that you forgot the feeling that you had in the moment. It feels this is what I'm committed to because I'm sick and tired and sick and tired. You went to church, you cried a little bit. You came back and said, I'm all I'm, I'm a new person. But then you go to bed, you wake up, go to work, come home, go to bed, wake up, go to work. And you forgot that feeling that you had mm. of this is my Beyonce year. Mm -hmm. Some people, when you said it, they said it. Like, this is my Beyonce year. I'm about to work hard. I just, life is going to hit you how life always hits you. 
And I don't think it's people like intentionally give up saying, okay, this isn't going to be my Beyonce year. I'm not going to do it anymore. It's just you forget the feeling that you had when you made that declaration. Yeah. So you need people that's going to remind you. For sure. Accountability is key. Yep. Accountability is key. Notice everything that I talked about, um, I attached a measure of accountability to it. Mm-hmm. Like uh, this new idea that we're going to do, Dave, we're doing this, uh, this level of commitment that I'm seeking in this year. Uh, my friend, Wall Street Trapper, we're, we're doing this together. So it's not something, and some people don't even need that, but for you, it could look like the team that you have around you, communicating this mm-hmm. stuff to your team and making sure that your team is strong enough to hold you accountable and not just letting you fall by the wayside, yeah. noticing that you fall by the wayside and they, you don't say anything, they don't say anything either. It could be your team, it could be your friends, it could be whoever. Put whatever measure of accountability that will work for you in place. Create a routine while you're motivated to do mm-hmm. it. While the, like, I outline what that looks like for you, what accountability you need while you're today motivated to do it, and then put those people in place. And again, when we come back this time in the next year, we'll be having a different conversation yeah. about different results. I'm so excited. Let's go. I'm so excited. It's that time, y'all. It's that time. Mm-hmm. This is, look, you got one more time mm-hmm. to say you're going to be mm-hmm. something in the beginning of the year and you don't become that thing by the end of that year, okay? You got one more time. That Listen, it's, this, that's over with, Okay. This is that year we have to commit and we have to recommit and then we got to commit again. So we did, uh, and maybe maybe we can make it. You said you don't have a whole lot of people in Atlanta. Well, people fly to you from People will fly. Yeah, for sure. So February If I 1st, give them enough notice, people will fly. Okay. Maybe we could do a joint uh, situation because I do need somebody to go half with me on the food. But <laughs> on on February 1st, so the other day, when was that? Last what date was that, Noah? A couple weeks ago. Yeah, about yeah, about two weeks ago. We brought everybody into the studio and we did a work session, meaning we just mapped out what our goals were for twenty twenty four. And we kind of be able, we were able to clear up the difference between the goal and the plan. Cause some people say, Well, I'll ask, you know, what's your plan for twenty twenty four? And they'll say, Well, make a million dollars. Well, that's not a that's not a plan, that's a goal. Mm-hmm. A plan says if I'm going to make a million dollars, here's the roadmap to get there. But even every step along the way needs a plan in itself. So my goal to make $100,000 is to sell um, 10,000 books, let's just say. Well, you need a plan to sell the 10,000 books. How are you going to sell the 10,000 books? Well, I'm going to create a marketing campaign. Well, that is a a three-day process of working to figure out the marketing campaign because campaign because there's a lot of things in there that are going to be stumbling blocks to you getting there. But we don't go like layers deep and start peeling back the onion on, okay, this is what I'm going to do. How am I going to do that? Well, how am I going to do that? Well, how yeah. am I going to do the thing that I need to do to do the thing that I need to do to hit the goal? Yeah. So we did that, and uh, it was very freeing, and we streamed it. Mm-hmm. So February 1st, we're going to do it again because I don't want the year. I know... January, I don't want people to forget. Yeah. So maybe February 1st, we could do a joint Let's workshop do together. Done. Put that on the calendar, Brie, um, so I can notify. Yeah, and we'll stream it. You're always literally on there. It'll be on the stream for five hours. What, we did like 10 to 3? Yep. Yeah, there was, and, and we worked. It wasn't just talk, 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 talk. Yeah. It was like sit there and plan. So we did a similar thing. We closed out our year putting together our action plan for 2024. Good. And so it was a two session workshop, um, about the same amount of time spent between both sessions, but we actually created um, vision boards, but not just like get together, cut things out of a newspaper or a magazine. It was me asking very intentional questions as prompts. Mm -hmm. So with these questions, you can then go and seek what you need in order to remind you to go after this particular goal in this particular way. So 
So the very first part of the session was to go through these prompts and find things that you want to accomplish in 2024. And then the second part of the session was finishing that up, but also outlining what the action steps are mm -hmm. that you need in order to accomplish these major to do's. What are the action steps that are required? So I think we are also in alignment and February cool. one would be a great place to pick up and do a workshop like, OK, you guys, we created the vision. Mm -hmm. We mapped out a plan. We've had a month of the new year to kind of start working the plan already. Let's analyze where we are, how it's going, how committed are you still after that January 15th energy motivation dies down for most people. <laughs> where are we in this process? And let's get you back going. Let's do it. Let's do let's it. Do it. Start, January, uh, February 1st. Start burning out by end of January, y'all. We're going to pick y'all right back up February. So listen, all you have to do is join Actionable CEO or the morning meetup .com and uh, actionable CEO.com. ActionableCEO.com so or actionable TheMorningMeetup.com. Yep. And you won't have to pay for it. It's free. It's free. If you're in our free. group, it's free. And let's only offer it that way. You can't no, come. Yeah, no, you yeah. can't just buy the ticket. I, I want it to be free. So, um, yep, if you're an Actionable CEO or The Morning Meetup, you get free access to this. Yep. All right? But for everybody, whether you're an Actionable CEO or you are um, like, hey, I want to learn from Dave and Donnie, too, on a more intimate level. Um, don't forget, we've just dropped our new book. It's called The Social Proof Playbook. This is practical advice, tips, and real-world examples for winning at entrepreneurship. Um, this is going to be a manual that helps you uh, with your business strategy, with your business tips, with company culture and community and all those things. And you can get that at the social proof podcast playbook.com, the social proof podcast playbook.com. And don't forget, there's exclusive merch. If you buy the ebook, you have the opportunity to get the exclusive merch for the low low. No. Good. All right, cool. Um, yes. So 2024, things are going to change for you. Put it in the comments real quick. Everything's different. Everything's different. Throw it in the chat. Everything's different. Everything's different. Your bank account will All be different. All new. Keep going, because that was my ad lib. Do it. Start over. Your bank account. Uh, hold on. Let me get back in my vibe. Hold on. Uh. <laughs> Everything's new. All Everything's new. new. So this is the year of abundance. All new. Abundance. All new. All brand new. Okay. <laughs> All new. <laughs> hold up. Hold up. Hold up. Your business. Go, Shane. Brand new. Your business. Oh, yeah. Brand new. Your look. Brand new. Your confidence. Different. Accountability. All new. Your bank account. Bigger. Your revenue. Bigger. Profits. Bigger. Life. Bigger. Lifestyle. Bigger. Your belief. Bigger. Your determination. Let's go. Your intentionality. Let's go. Your commitment. Yes. Yes. Your yes. results. How are we closing out the year? Y'all like and subscribe. We'll see you no, next week. No, we're closing out the year. <laughs> Uh, We're closing out 2024. All brand new. All bigger, brand new. better. Let's go. Decide, commit, do. Let's go. We out. We out. Peace. If you like the video that you just watched, click this one. You're going to like this one, maybe even more. Click it right now.